And hello everyone, welcome to TNO News Breaking, September 19, 2020. Let's start with coronavirus. The U.S. hitting a grim milestone of 200,000 deaths and the projected amount of 420,000 by the end of the year. As COVID-19 begins to slow down, more Americans are dying from the virus and the economic toll. Next, Europe's second wave. Europe facing a dreaded moment, a second wave. The UK, Spain, France, Greece, Israel, Ukraine, and many other countries planning to go into a second lockdown. But Israel has the worst situation as they become the first country to go into a nationwide lockdown for the second time. The Czech Republic in summer had daily cases of less than 500, but now they're about at 50,000. 15,000 a day. Questions now rising if the same thing will happen to the US, Brazil, India, and even China. Next, the reopening of schools. New York City public schools delaying the start of in person classes again as New York's positivity rate hits 5%, the highest they have seen since June. In Texas, districts like Dallas ISD, Houston ISD, and Fort Bend ISD finalized plans to start in-person classes. In Florida, five schools, after having in-person classes, get back five positive tests, causing the district to suspend in-person learning. Next, the California wildfires. The Bobcat Fire and El Dorado Fire in California are burning out of control. The Bobcat Fire near Los Angeles, aiming for an historic building, the George Observatory, and the iconic Hollywood sign. The El Dorado Fire near San Bernardino killing one firefighter. The fire was caused by gender reveal party now claiming two lives. The people part of the gender reveal party can now face charges and fees up to $5,000 and possibly jail time. In Oregon, town's completely gone, but windy weather and rain in sight for the hope. Economy. The economic disaster just keeps getting worse and worse. Set for next week, GE, Dunkin' Donuts, Nike, Under Armour, Forever 21, Starbucks, Baker Hughes, Dow Jones, and PayPal expected to give layoffs to more than 200,000 employees in total. The election of 2020. Five states have now early voting polling places, Virginia having a massive turnout. Eight states today, including Texas, Louisiana, Oklahoma, and Florida, have started mailing out absentee election ballots. As votes are confidential, a New York Times survey shows Biden in the lead. Only 44 more days into election, the things are starting to boil up as the heat has long past started. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Yesterday at 6.35 in 12 seconds p.m. Central Standard Time, the oldest Supreme Court justice to ever serve died from stage three pancreatic cancer. She was a fighter for justice gender equality, religious freedom, and a believer in hope. Her name was Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Thousands attended the National Mall last night to pay their respects. People left flowers, candles, and one person went the extra mile and got his whole community to come outside and have a moment of silence. And then after they signed, singed in prayer of her, may what, may one of the greatest people to ever live rest in peace. Now let's take a moment of silence in memory for her. Thank you. Space and technology. President Trump has signed an executive order banning new downloads and software updates of the popular Chinese-made social media apps TikTok, which is used by 50% of the United States, and WeChat. The president August signed an order saying if TikTok is not bought by another U.S. company by September 18, then he will ban them. TikTok firing back, calling him a dictator. Downloads of the app have been soaring as the ban goes in for all U.S. app stores by 10.59 p.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow. SpaceX and NASA getting ready for the launch of SpaceX Crew-1 mission, set to launch no later than October 23, 2020. The crew will use the newly NASA-certified Crew Dragon C-207 capsule, the same one that launched the astronauts for Crew Demo-2 mission. The rocket will also be SpaceX's own vehicle. Falcon 9. 
the U.S. is officially back into the period of launches from American soil. Eye on the tropics. Tropical storm beta threatening the Texas coast. 30 to 50 inches of rain are expected. Lainfall expected on Matagorda Bay or Galveston Beach on Wednesday morning. Watches and warnings have been placed from Port Arnsis to High Island, Texas. Houston preparing for major flash flooding. Fears that Beta could become like Hurricane Harvey, which hit the state in 2017. Evacuation orders in place for commun coastal communities. Thank you for joining us. Have a great safe day. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other.